Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I think I will switch equipment here at this point. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Is it good? Maybe I should put the safety badge on. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that. Why not? Ah, welcome to Nimbus Town, my friends. Oh, there's a castle over there. Alright, everyone. Listen up! Oh, no way. I thought that was the guard that was talking. Shut up! King Nimbus' condition is going worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. Nimbus like a... Uh, what? But... It just so happens that I've found the missing prince. Prince Mallow, that is. Prince Mallow, please, sir. Prince? Get over here! I was like, what? what? What's going on? Well, well. It seems that our little prince has a mild case of stage fright. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah, she doesn't seem evil at all. Come on! Make it snappy! What? You can't get through? Well, just look at you, Tubby! Finally! Introducing Prince Mallow! Welcome back, Prince Mallow! <laughs> um, you're kidding, right? This guy looks nothing like a cloud person. It looks like Toucan Sam, who was high on pot and had way too many Cheetos. Like, seriously? Yes? What is it, dear? What? You're asking me to... Gracious! You're serious, aren't you? Well, I don't know what to say. Dear me. I've made my decision. At the request of the prince, I agreed to become his queen. Queen Valentina. Ooh, it just gives me shiver. Not shivers, just shiver. Oh, it just makes me shiver. Okay, I, I get it now. Well, that's it. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry up, will ya? Wow, I can't believe the people here are so dumb. Can you believe it? What a coincidence. There's a prince with the same name as me. Oh, Mario was thinking about face planning there. Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces. Well, we learned one valuable thing. The people of Nimbus Land have no brains. Even Mallow doesn't have brains. You'd think at this point he would catch on thinking, Wow, that's an imposter, but... Apparently, he does not see it that way. Let's upgrade our equipment. Mega glove, war fan, hand cannon, sticky glove. Fuzzy shirt, fuzzy pants, fuzzy cape, fuzzy dress. Oh jeez, I got a lot of equipping to do. This is gonna take a while. Okay, war fan, and fuzzy dress, hand cannon, fuzzy cape, ribbon stick, sticky glove, sailor pants with fuzzy pants. Actually, Bowser gets no new equipment. He seems pretty good the way he is. Yep, I think that's good. Uh, hang on a second. Let me take a look at my item count there. Got a lot of Carol Carol Colas. At this point, they're overkill. I don't really need an Energizer. I'll give rid of that. Buy some more maple syrups. Yep, that's good. Okay, let's look around the rest of the town. King Nimbus loves statues and birds. He has scads of them in the castle. Prince Mallows, I remember him, used to be so small, so timid. Now just look at him! You know about the Royal Bus? No. It's a regal vehicle, used only by the King. It's parked now due to the fact he's ill. I'll serve the King again soon, yeah, good for you. Why Prince Malovic guess because she found him? <sighs> Guys! Like, Mallow's right here. I'm surprised he's not saying anything. He's 
so oblivious. Hey, look! It's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Huh? What the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mallow, and this is my friend Mario. Mallow, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. My, you've become a splendid young prince. What? I I'm really a, a prince? Oh, yeah. Okay, now Mario's doing interpretive dance, talking about the whole story where uh, Mallow found out he's not a tadpole, but really from some far off land. Which is this place? Yes, indeed. I understand. So, you were raised by Frog Fucius. Alright, I didn't give him that cricket jam earlier. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Mallow. Mario, look at me! I'm a prince! Mario's like, ugh! I knew Valentina was up to something. I just didn't know what. That must mean that the king really isn't gravely ill. <coughs> now let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. I was like, yeah, that's not going to go well. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Oh, don't cry. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Okay, what can go wrong? Are you ready? Oh, oh yeah. Just stay still for a little while, okay? It won't take long. Okay, so basically you're gonna make me a statue with only three sides of my body. That's great. There. Hey, don't move! You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. Taking out a Valentina statue as a decoy. How about that? I'm delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. Halt! Who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all, you think? Oh, that's because this is a statue of Valentina's nephew, Mari Mariota, okay? Uh, okay, proceed. Hey, we made it into the castle. Phew, that was close. Didn't think we'd get through that one. There is no such person named Mariota. Ha! Oh ho ho ho! Oh, now this is lovely! My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt! What, may I ask, is this ugly thing? That's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called A Plumber's Lament. Observe the thick mustache covering the sad, innocent smile of a simple fool. And the sideburns conveying his blue collar roots. And the legs, well defined, strong, the legs of the masses. Is it to your liking? Hmm. I consider myself something of an art buff, and I've got to say, this is spectacular! Garrow, only you could have created such sculptures with such gentle beauty and raw power! Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Spectacular! Dodo! Dodo! Don't just sit there like a roast! Hurry and carry these in! Dodo! Okay, at least we know what his real name is. Step on it! He's like, okay. Man, for someone wearing a Spartan helmet, he's not exactly much of a Spartan. Huh, <laughs> pecker in the crotch. I take it he's not too happy. There you go. Everything's in place. Okay, now I can move. I think first I'll save the game, of course. 
Then we begin our infiltration of Nimbus Castle. Dodo! Oh shit. Did you display the statues properly? Fine. Now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me. Hurry up and don't let me catch you dozing again. Okay, gotta get back into position. Uh-oh. Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready because he's coming this way. Okay, and if I fail, I have to fight him. But if I win, I get a good accessory. Well, win the minigame, of course. Poor guy. Haha. <laughs> He's like, what? Huh. <laughs> Thought you were gonna get me, huh? Wait for it, wait for it. Ha! <laughs> Okay, he's done. I don't recall there ever being a passage here. Huh, he broke the game. There, and I pick up a feather. This boosts your speed a lot. Okay, what the hell's going on? It's friggin' Norton, isn't it? Here, let me fix things up. Okay, I'm back. I think I got it taken care of. Um, I don't know why, but it seems to lag at this point. Maybe it was just for this part. Okay, give Mallow the XP booster, and Bowser should get the feather. There, your speed goes up by a lot. I don't know why, but it seemed to lag quite a bit just at the, uh, inventory section. I'm absolutely exhausted! Uh-oh. I hate being a guard! Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina statues every single day. Huh, here's how I do it. Uh-oh. What the? How did the polish go right off? Hey, tell me something. Do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then explain this. It's... One of those high-tech, or life-like, realistic ones. Let's get out of here! Oh, God. Okay, so apparently Valentina recruited a hell of a lot of retards. Okay, here's a new enemy. This one's called Pinwheel. And it blows. Literally. Oh, Mario at level 20. And Bowser at level 17. Sweet. Luckily, there's a hell of a lot of new enemies, but even if you leave the castle, they don't come back. So if you clear out a few enemies, you get a lot of room to move around. I don't know why they call this the hand cannon. You're clearly shooting out of your elbow. Oh well, whatever. I guess elbow cannon doesn't really sound that sexy, don't you think? If you're gonna use a cannon, you want it out of your hand, right? Not your elbow. Unless you're a robot. Geno at level 17 and learns Geno Flash. That's his final spell. Sadly, he only gets 5 in the game, but Bowser only gets 4. That's a shame. Okay, here are some new enemies Slingshy and Orbison. Orbisons don't have a lot of HP, but they got a fair amount of defense. And they can cast spells to recover their MP. In fact, they can cast it even if they don't lose any. Which is a shame. Oh, well, it's a free move for me. There. Honey syrup, double my experience points? Let's go for it. Okay. And... No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Stop! Oh, it's a tie. 
Whatever. Well, I don't like honey syrup. Let's just use it. Hmm. Oh, damn. I wanted to get that chest. That's okay. I can just kick some ass. I'll save the Geno roll for later. I'm not gonna waste it on this tub of lard. Phoned. Fat ass. I mean, we're in pretty good condition throughout the rest of this game. I, I can tell you that much. Okay, let's move on. Uh, go this way, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of pinwheels and slingshies here. The pinwheels seem to be by themselves. Therefore, these fights get a lot easier. But they can actually move you around in the overworld, or pretty much in this area. So don't let them blow you away. They might knock you into an enemy or outside the room. Ooh, defense up. Sweet. Damn. Wanted to block it. But I only took like three points of damage, so who cares? Wow. For something with a high defense, that's a ton of damage. I'm keeping this trooper pin on for a long time, my friends. Huh, look at that. It's one of those lifelike statues. What the hell am I talking about? I'm high, just like those other birdies. I'm pretty sure they came up with that just to uh, piss off their own partners there, who were the guards. Like, hey, look at these guys. Hey, we're lifelike statues now. Run away, bitches. That was just so lame. I can't believe they fell for it. This rape could have been a statue and just waltz into the castle. And they'd be freaking right out. Clearly, Nimbus Land doesn't have a high security budget. If they do, it's pretty shitty at this point. Okay, there's a fair amount of new enemies here. This guy, for instance, the Shaman. And Jaffle. I better take these guys out now. Like, Jaffle will remain asleep until you physically attack it. And it's a bitch. There, now you can sleep forever. That is one way to dispatch it. Like, Jaffle has a fair amount of HP, too. So if you had to fight it, it would take a while. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was a hidden chest lying around somewhere. Oh well, I might as well clean out these enemies first. Besides, I'm gonna be here for a little while. I'm in no rush to get the chest right away. Probably off footage, I can take care of most of these enemies that I've already shown you. That'll make things a little easier for the rest of the video. Or the next one. First, let's go this way. I'm in no mood to deal with you pricks. Ah, damn. I want to jump. Well, I did jump, just not in time. So thankfully I did get to do what I wanted, just a little too late. Anyways, got another fight. To be honest, I think this is all the enemies that are in this dungeon. It's not nothing new, really. Other than bosses, but that's it. I've already shown you all the enemies. Oh, I could have sworn there was one over here, but I could be wrong. There's definitely one over here. Ooh, big reinforcements. Okay, I think I'm gonna try out Geno Blast, because I've never shown that yet. Death from above. Yes, this does target all enemies, of course. Okay, I gotta do something else. Just try Psych Bomb. Blow them all. 
Okay, that fixed things up. Thanks, Peach. Get terrorist. And Star Rain, Mallow's final move. Oh, it's not a frog coin. Did you know there are hot springs around here? Uh, yes. Oh, you're no fun. I would be the first to tell you that. What is it with people always wanting to be first? I used to be a guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Uh, sure. Who would say no to that? All right, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're going to do with it, okay? No, I'm not going to open a door with that key. Oh, a flower jar. Lord, I got too many items. What can I get rid of? I'll get rid of a pick-me-up. And use the flower jar. There we go. A dip in the hot springs would perk up the king in a jiffy. Did you know Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle room? Spit those eggs from time to time, and sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off of you. Okay, that's basically if you hit defense, and then this enemy spits an egg at you, and the egg becomes an enemy. We'll get to that in the next part. I'm out of time. Well, I'm not out of time. Just gonna ready to start a new segment. See ya.